the premise is, you know, it's it's um, a character named Jimmy, uh, played by John Stamos, who uh, is, you know, kind of a, a consummate bachelor his whole life, you know, ladies' man, successful, kind of has like, you know, has the kind of the coolest life you can imagine for, for a guy. And then he, um, in kind of in one fell swoop, he, re he finds out that he has a son, played by Josh, uh, but also that Josh has a daughter. So he's gone, instead of like finding he's a father immediately, he finds out he's a grandfather. And um, that's really the, the the kind of one the you know the the, the one line kind of premise of the show, but uh, that also sort of opens up all these other doors in his past. You know, for example, the woman who he had the child with all those years ago, um, played by Paget, and um, and so it's really him. It's, it's it's him kind of being ex you know introduced to this entire kind of complex family and really sort of trying to figure out where he fits in. And how was the casting? I feel like I would have thought you know there's certain bachelors out there in Hollywood that would have fit in. Well, we actually, um, it was it was always intended for John. It was actually an idea that I had for John, and I pitched it to him, and he responded to it. So, yeah, I mean, that's what's so amazing about this particular um, uh, project is, you know, it's very rare that you get a, a, a real bona fide TV star like John Stamos um, to kind of just be on board from the very beginning. And, um, and, and so it's been really, you know, it's, we've been, you know, really, really fortunate. Yeah, my character Sarah was involved with him 26 years ago <laughs> to make <laughs> the Gerald character uh, when they were wild and young and hanging out on the Sunset Strip. Uh, but now she does not put up with any of Jimmy's BS, so that's a very fun part to play um, with Stamos being such a ladies' man that, that the character of Sarah is like, no, no, shut up. Is it pretty easy to just go on script and just keep going uh, while you're filming? We did, well, I don't know, did we do? The script is so good. This is my boss. <laughs> yes. Why would you? What, did you feel like there needed to be? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just saying, you know, as actors, uh, the chemistry, how's the chemistry on set? I thought it was good. What did you think? I, I thought it was great. I mean, John always responds so well to strong women, you know, because he is, I think his, his comedic wheelhouse is really being put on his heels by a woman because I think, as we all kind of expect, like that's not really what he's used to. He's generally used to getting whatever he wants from anyone he wants. Yeah, and I bet that's what's fun about that, your role. Yeah, well that's what's real, yeah, and also I, uh, <laughs> I, I did in the audition kind of treat him like a child <laughs> and uh, apparently that worked because <laughs> I figured oh I'm gonna game John Stamos I'm gonna give him nothing I'm just gonna be like yeah buddy whatever and that was kind of the character and I got away with it I guess <laughs> so we we're in the midst of it right now. This is bonding. You're watching the bonding happen. We just followed each other on Twitter. I mean, it's getting pretty deep. <laughs> but you know what, though? I, uh, okay, so you were uh, a child star. Yes. How is it now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel oh, bad. Oh, no, I'll do it. No, it's so good. You're like a, a newscaster. Okay. Now I'll throw it to Badgett. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what it's like to actually, you know, be in the group. Uh, well, uh, similar to John, I sort of feel like a baby man. Like, so there's parts of me where I feel like I'm always this kid, sort of looking at the world through these funny glasses and just being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I get this opportunity. But I did Drake and Josh for many years, and it still reruns every day. And so that was such a big part of growing up and and a lot of other kids' childhoods. And now being able to sort of come to Grandfathered, which is slightly more elevated material, age up a bit but still so much heart and really quite funny so I'm happy to sort of pro be progressing at a good rate and be playing a character that I think people want to see from me so keep the people happy you'd have to ask the baby <laughs> um, 
uh, I think I'm okay. I'm great with other people's babies because I get to give them back at the end of the day. But I love them. And the, the two little girls, Layla and Amelia, that play my daughter on the show, uh, they're they're just delicious. So they're, they're really fun. So there's twins that are playing the characters. Yes. So wouldn't it be funny if you actually had your show as your baby sitting or something in the background? <laughs> a little Drake and Josh action? I like oh, it, that's right? Funny. Or like, um, what? Like we could do some like your episodes of Friends on in the background. Oh, That'd be that's awesome. Good. I like it. Thank Is you. It? Nice. It? Good work. Tell me how the festival's been so far. Pageant. Well, we just we got in yesterday. We're going to see the pilot in front of an audience today, which we haven't done. So it's a little nerve-wracking, but hopefully it goes really well, and hopefully everyone in the room loves it and doesn't throw fruit at the screen. I don't know. Danny, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's really weird to be at a festival to do a panel about a show nobody has seen, because usually you kind of assume like you're walking into a crowd of people who love your show but these people don't know the show so they, we could be walking into a bunch of people who just saw the show and hated it what's the response so far i mean you're talking about twitter and social media i mean are people kind of like super pumped about the show so far are you is he the big twitter are He's you the big Dear, are you good with the Twitter? You answer the Twitter. I'm a pretty big deal. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible to see people's reactions thus far, and we're still about, I mean, when this air airs, it'll be much closer to the release, but as it stands today, we're a few months out from it being on air, and it's great to sort of see the momentum going and people getting really excited, and when you have a guy like Stamos, people are interested in what he had for breakfast this morning, let alone his new show, so. Uh, yeah, John, what John has for people. Yeah, oh, sick. I'm full of great ideas, by the way. That's it. She already has the et. I know it. <laughs> well, anything else that y'all want to say about the show? I don't know. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, we're just really excited. I mean, the, the festival has been so, it's, it's so exciting that the festival is willing to bring us in to talk about a show that's, you know, new. And we really think that, you know, people will like it. It's, you know, it's it's John doing what he does best. Um, it's, I think it's just like a, a, a it's, it's really, you know, a, one of those products where everything comes together and becomes so much more than you ever imagined, you know, getting a cast like this together who all have individually kind of elevated their characters much beyond whatever I kind of conceived of in the beginning. So, you know, I really am excited about it. You know, like the best I can ever say about a project I work on is that I love it and that I think I'm, you know, I'm proud of it. And, you know, I've certainly been on projects where it hasn't been the case. And in this one, I am. And so I, you know, hopefully that translates to everybody else. Definitely. Just, you like what's going on here on this couch? Watch our show, Fall. <laughs> Tuesdays, 8 o'clock. Get more of it.